guys, this is Brandy. Um, today I wanted to show you guys how I uh, place negative space in my images using Photoshop. So let's get started. So first of all, I wanted you guys to know that I normally do this when I have a darker background. Uh, so usually I'm using like side lighting or Rembrandt lighting with a dark background when I do this. Um, I normally don't do this for brighter images. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my crop tool. And rather than cropping my image, I'm going to click this bar right here and start to drag it over to the right. So about, I'll go that far for now. I might end up changing it. So I'm going to click the check mark. And so now we have our negative space, but as you can see, I have this, you know, line going straight down my image and it doesn't look natural whatsoever. So we're going to go over here and we're going to grab a gradient. So click on your gradient color right here. And I'm going to click on this little uh, tab on the far left. And now I'm going to choose one of the darker shadows in my image. So I can see up here it's pretty dark and it's practically black. Let's see. I'm just going to make it practically pure black. All the way to the corner. And I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to click this one over here on the far right side. And now this is the color that the um, black is fading into. So I'm just going to make it a tad bit lighter, probably like a lighter gray. Um, let me just click a color in my picture. A light color. About right there. It's like a washed out black type color. I'm going to click OK. Click OK right here. And now I'm going to change the angle of the gradient. So I'm just going to start clicking in this circle to move the line. And I'm going to keep going until it kind of lines up. Right there should be fine. So, so now I'm going to click and drag my shadow over until it's practically touching me. There we go. About right there. I'm going to click OK. Alrighty, so now I'm going to click on my layer mask. Uh, my layer mask is white, of course. I'm going to click B on my keyboard for my brush. And I'm going to make sure that I have a black brush selected. Uh, my brush is soft. In my opacity, I will take up to about, I'll take it up to 100% for now. And my flow is at 100% as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase the effect from the uh, left side of my image. So I'm just going to start erasing. So I don't like it too much when the shadows start to touch my highlights. So I'm just going to erase it from the highlights here. And I'm going to take the opacity down to about, uh, I'll say 50 for now. And I'm just going to slowly start removing it from my left, my right side. I do want to see my knee a little bit, and I also see the wall a little bit more. So when you're erasing the uh, gradient from parts of your image, be sure that you don't erase it so much to where it shows where you use the crop tool. So like right, here, let me lower this, right here you can see that sharp line which I don't want. So I'm going to make sure I, oops, I place the shadowing right back there. Oops. So I'm just trying to, you know, show the highlights of the wall in the background a little bit, but yet I still want, you know, it to, I want the shadow to taper off. I want the light to taper off practically. Uh, 
Alrighty then, and that looks grand to me. Um, as far as I can tell, the color is pretty accurate. Uh, it blends in nicely with the image. So yeah, the next thing I'm going to do is right click my background layer and flatten my image. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys. Um, this technique won't work for every single image, but it does work great with, you know, images that have darker backgrounds and that has a uh, tapered off light. So uh, I use this technique a lot because I do use Rembrandt lighting and side lighting on dark backgrounds quite often. So um, yeah, I suggest that you guys give this a try. And if you do, um, let me know how it went. Uh, don't forget to like this video uh, if you enjoyed it and to subscribe to my channel for future tutorials. Thanks guys. Bye.